With doubtnet, get instant video solutions to all your maths, physics, chemistry and biology doubts. Just click the image of the question, crop the question and get instant video solution. Download doubtnet app today. Hello guys, today we are given if the sum of first n terms of an AP is 4n minus n square, what is the first term? That is S1, alright. What is the sum of first two terms and what is the second term? Similarly, we have to find out the third, tenth and ninth term, alright. Okay. So before we begin the problem, let me familiarize you with a general AP, with a general or a standard AP with first term A and a common difference of D is A, A plus D, A plus 2D and so on, alright. And the nth term of this AP is given by A plus N minus 1 into T, alright. Now, in this particular problem, I am given that uh, the sum of the first N terms of the AP is 4n minus n square. All right. So, what is the first term? First term, if I put down n is equals to 1 or s1, I can directly find out the value of first term. All right. So, s1 is equals to 4 into 1 is 4 minus 1 square is 1. So, I can say s1 is 3. And uh, since I am going to write it in this form, so I can say that the value of my a or the first term is going to be 3. Okay. Now, I am asked to find out what is the sum of first two terms. Alright, so for that purpose, let us find out S2. S2 is equals to 4 into n, that is 4 into 2 is 8, minus 2 square is 4. Or I can say that S2 is 4. S2 is the sum of first two terms. So it will be sum of A1 plus A2. Where A1 is my first term and A2 is my second term. Alright, this is A1 or. Alright, so A1. Uh, can be written as a1 plus and second term will be a1 plus uh, 2 minus 1 is 1 times d is equals to 4. Twice a1, twice a1 from here you can say 6 plus d is equals to 4 or the value of my common difference is going to be minus 2. Alright, now I know the first term, I know the value of common difference. I am required to find out the third, tenth and nth term. Alright. Okay, now third term will be a3 is going to be a1 plus 3 minus 1 that is 2 into d, alright. The value of my a1 is 3 and d is minus 2 so it becomes minus 4 or I can say my third term is minus 1, alright. Now my tenth term, I am going to use this formula again, is going to be equal to a1 plus 10 minus 1 that is 9 times d. Alright, from here I can say that it will be 3 minus 18 or minus 15. Alright, this is the value of my 10th term. Now, at last I have to find out the nth term. The nth term similarly will be for this particular scenario a1 which is 3 plus n minus 1 into d which is minus 2 all right you can simplify it it becomes 3 plus minus 2 n plus 2 all right or i can say that the value will be of nth term this is my nth term not 10th term let me correct it here nth term will be 5 minus 2 n this is the value of my nth term and this is our final solution. Thank you for watching the video. For class 6 to 12, ITG and NEET level. Trusted by more than 5 crore students. Download Doubt and App today.